I'm gonna show you what a dealer pays for this 2017 GMC Sierra. This Jeep Wrangler, this Hyundai Veloster, cause these are all repos right here. This Toyota Sienna, this Chrysler 300, this Toyota Camry. Most of the cars that I'm gonna show on today's video um, are going to be repos. All right, it's auction time, auction time, auction time. Let's go. Started at $18,000. This F-150, this Chrysler 200. Well, what are dealers paying for these repos that are coming through auction? Are they a lot cheaper? Well, today, you know what? I'm going to show you this Kia Soul, and you won't believe what car dealers pay for repossessed vehicles. This 1998 Chevy Venture. Just kidding. We're not going to check this one. Nobody wants to know what that costs. You know what? Oh, there you go. I can tell you, it's like, it's like 200 bucks. Do you think car dealers are ripping you off? Well, I'm a car dealer and today I'm at a used car dealer auction and I'm going to show you what we actually pay for our cars. <laughs> wow, look at the lift on this thing. This is a Tundra. That is a lot of work done to this truck. My goodness. All right, here's a Chrysler 300 in the repo lane. It is um, a 2012, it's got 145,000 miles. All right, we're on that 300, we're up $2,200. It's actually pretty, rough on the outside uh, it's going to be a common theme with a lot of these repos that uh, they're they're going to be abused ridden hard dirty parts missing it says on the window 25 percent damage disclaimer it's probably salvage is what that means um gross 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 i don't even know what's in there and i'm touching the seat i need to not touch anything okay um it looks like it's also been uh broken into quite a few times we're up to twenty six hundred dollars um so overall not great uh the casing over the the tail lights is missing so lots and lots and lots of uh problems with this vehicle but we will uh check it nonetheless nonetheless is that correct whatever i'll leave it all right we're, we're gonna check it up to twenty eight hundred They got 2800 on that 300 and they sold it. All right, here's a Jeep Wrangler Sport that's in the repo lane. Um, don't see a whole lot of these come through as, uh, as repo, so this, this is uh, kind of surprising. It's a 2010 uh, Wrangler Sport. It's got 144,000 miles. I'm trying to start out at 13,000. Drop it down to 12,000. A um, little rough right here. Um, tires look okay and uh, no rust, so that's good. Um, inside. Dirty, stainage. There I go, touching stuff again. I need to go wash my hands. We dropped it all the way down to seven thousand. We got bids coming in now, up to eight thousand already. All right. Uh, overall, not uh, not terrible, 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 but not not good. Um, but uh, we'll uh, we'll check it anyway because it's a Wrangler and I want to see the price of this uh, because it's most likely a repo. Eighty two hundred up to nine thousand dollars now. Up to ninety four hundred still bidding on the Jeep. Up to ninety five, ninety six, ninety seven. All right, we're up to ten thousand dollars on that Jeep. We got ten thousand three hundred dollars on that Jeep and they sold it. Oh, sorry, no, nope, they put it on a phone call on the F bid. All right, so this one right here is actually not a repo. This is a new car trade into a franchise store. It's a 2017 Sierra. It's got 112,000 miles. All right, here's that Sierra. I'm trying to start at 23,500. It's the all-terrain. And uh, outside body looks pretty good. Uh, it looks like it might need some tires pretty soon. Uh, they're a little bit worn. Started at $18,000. And very, very, very dirty. Um, yeah, the seats are actually not in too bad of shape. So this is this is not uh, too bad overall. It needs a vacuum. This truck has been worked on, uh, but overall not terrible. 18.2, we're sending it out now. Still gonna be bidding on it though. Up to 19,000. 19.4, up to 19.6, 19, $19,700. They said it needs 23.5 for it. They just no sold it. All right, so this is in the repo aisle. It's a uh, repo aisle, like it's a like we're in a grocery store. This is in the repo lane. This is these are all repos, and this is here. All right, so this is a 2015 Chrysler 200. It's got 103,000 miles. Drop it all the way down to 3,000. 
Um, we got some damage around the edges. Yeah, you can tell maybe even, even more right there. Hopefully the camera can pick up. Um, but uh, overall the body is okay, except for that one spot. And uh, inside is, it's actually not bad for a repo. You can tell some, uh, some damage right actually staining. Yeah, and never mind. Never mind, it's bad. All right, forget what I just, I just hit my head too. Oh, all right, this day is going fabulous. I think he's got money at 3,000, but nobody else is bidding on it. Got 3,000, but it sounds like it's a no sale. Needs $6,000 for it. All right, this one I am actually very interested in. It's uh, very rare that we see Toyota Camrys pop up in the the repo lanes. You don't you don't see them getting repoed a lot. All right, they've already run this Camry once, but there was a mess up on uh, the bidding. So whatever, they just run it again. We're up to four thousand um, dollars. This one, the uh, 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 uh. wait till you see this. Let's do it. Let's do it in slow. Let's peak. Gross. Oh. Oh, oh, hide your eyes, kids. There we go. Nasty. All right. What, what is that? What, how does that happen? Oh, it's so nasty. Oh, all right. I'm supposed to be talking. This is a, uh, this is a video where I am narrating, so we should narrate. Anyway, this is a 2012 Toyota Camry. It's got 185,000 miles. And, uh, like I said, it's, it's rare that you see a Toyota Camry, but, uh, the type of person that was in this car did not take care of it at all so maybe um, they didn't take care of their uh, finances at all either and this is how a vehicle like this ends up here it brought 4400 the first time it brought four thousand dollars and they sold it all right we can check this one this is a 2004 f-150 it's got 178,000 miles so a lot of miles actually most of these repos are going to have higher miles but Look, uh, front uh, bumper, bottom part is missing on it. Um, we got some rough spots here. There you go, we got some. Here's the F-150, they started out at $2,000. We're up to $2,700. Lots of body damage, lots of body damage. Bad tire, and the inside. Rippage, stainage, more gross. There you go. Looks like a repo to me, but it's a truck. And it's here, and we'll see what a dealer will pay for it. Up to three thousand dollars. Okay. Up to four thousand dollars already. Every time this guy yells, he's got a bid. Forty-four hundred. They got forty-six hundred dollars, and they sold it. <laughs> There's a pink car. <laughs> All right. So this is a 2015 Kia Soul. This is also in the repo aisle. Um, it's got 140,000 miles. You see, it's got. Uh, some dents we have we have a zip tie there you go it's not even oh yeah it's loose trying to start out five thousand nobody bid on it dropped it all the way down two thousand dollars inside as usual stainage floor dirty more stainage oh 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 and uh dog hair and just general nastiness there you go up to 2500 now got 26 got 2600 dollars, and they put it on af so this is not a repo but i want to check it anyway it's a 2016 hyundai veloster and it's got 90,000 miles on the body actually looks really good you don't see a lot of scratches dents and usually on these you will see quite a bit it's a turbo see that right there a little had some stickers on it that can come off very easily um, it is a automatic, which I think would matter on this kind of sports little car here. All right, almost missed it. It's rolling out now. They're up at uh, fifty-two hundred dollars. Actually, sixty-five, sixty-five hundred. We stole that Veloster seventy-nine hundred, and they put it on a if put it on phone call. Uh, we typically, when we're buying cars, we don't buy manuals anymore. We used to buy uh, manual vehicles, uh, but people can't drive them anymore, and I've had, uh, when we used to buy them, 
it would be like one out of every 10 that we would get a customer on a test drive would rip the clutch out of it so we just don't buy uh straight drive cars anymore i got off on a tangent so we're going to go back to this car now all right and we almost never see these pop up as a repo but this is a 2011 toyota sienna it's got 172,000 miles and paint on it hopefully you can see that it is all jacked up down the side um, i don't know if it's been painted in cheap paint or if it's just baked in the sun for years uh but it is uh is that, is that dirt or is that the paint i think that's the paint that's actually bad it's got like i mean you can see it it's off off there off there some of that's coming off but it can't just be all dirt that makes it makes that paint look that bad all right inside dirty rippage seats torn dirty more dirt grossness in the back has a dvd player there you go that's that's a plus uh but uh more nastiness all right toyota sienna repo the car auction is very fast paced and often i will miss a car and today i missed this one so i'll put what i went through went through went for at the bottom of the screen right here right there this chevy impact This Chevy Malibu. All right, this is one of the newer specimens in the uh, repo aisle. It's a uh, 2017, it's got 103,000 miles. The outside body actually looks really good. And yes, this is a Malibu. There you go. Um, and inside. Inside is not terrible. We got some burn holes. I guess those are burn holes. Stop smoking, kids. All right, some stainage. Um, that center console is intact and it looks okay so a uh, few little spots here and there on the seats but overall is not bad it's probably one of the nicer um repos that we've seen today so we'll check it inside did i say what it was 2017 malibu 103,000 miles there you go is that malibu it's asking 7,000 for it that Malibu's at 9,000, up to 9,300. Malibu's at 9,300. Sorry, rolled out, but they're bidding on at 9,300. It's up to 9,400. Got 9,400 and they sold it. So repos have been rising, right? No secret. Been talking about that a lot on my channel. A lot of these other car channels talk about the same thing. This whole row of cars right here is from a buy here, pay here dealer. And what that means is that this dealer actually sells the vehicles and they hold their own notes. So most of these cars that are in this line right here are going to be repossessed vehicles. And what I will say is that maybe six months, 12 months ago, this particular dealer right here would only have cars that would span up to about right here on a weekly basis but now on a weekly basis we're seeing that they almost have a full row of vehicles that they're bringing to this auction to sell that's bad news for the economy it means repos way up delinquencies way up and uh most times they're not in very good shape because if someone knows that they're not paying on their car and they're probably going to get it repossessed they're not fixing that there you go you can see so Whenever we're actually breaking into cars, we have to do it at our lot all the time um, to get, if, if a car's locked and we have to get into it, we actually put a like wedge bar in here and then have like a balloon that, that pumps up and pushes the, the door actually out so we can get a bar down in there to unlock the door. Um, but you can tell that this door is off because this completely, is completely shut. Um, but it's been broken into quite a few times for it to actually be bent in that way. All right, today I'm at a, let's start from the beginning. Car dealer auction, and I get to car dealer auction to show you what they do. Nope, 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 nope.